YouTube. Uh, how you doing? Well, I had to throw my weight around a little. Had an employee that uh, pushed my buttons. The first time, I let it slide. I said, okay, that's one. Second time, I let it slide. I said, that's two. Third time, broke the camel's back. The first time, uh, he was helping an RV, filling him up. A car was waiting on pump 10, and it was a wraparound. All right. And I was busy helping everybody I could because we were a little short-handed and we were busy. So he waits on the pump after he finishes the um, RV for the truck with the quads to pull up. Meanwhile, pump 10 is waiting. Has been waiting. So I finish with a couple of cars and I come over. I says, but has pump 10 been helped? He says, no, it's a wraparound. I'm like, are you on till? He said, no. Should have helped pump 10. So, and I end up helping pump 10. That was number one. Number two. <coughs> he argued with me. I go to my last break, it's about a quarter after eight, and I put another person on till. He says, why are you putting him on till? I'm your other scheduled closer. I'm like, technically, I'm not scheduled to close. I got extended. Because Aaron, Aaron Clark, our boss, wanted me closing instead of you two alone. And his attitude just completely went downhill from there. I'm not going to go into the cherries on top. Uh, so right there, number two. Number three, he'd been warned multiple times by multiple people. I've warned him two or three times myself. Not to lean on the pylons. And I'm sitting there, I'm looking right at him as he's leaning. He just looks right back goes back to talking to the customer so I wait for my uh, who would have been my third person to get back from his last break and I collect the cash from him and I say go home he says what I said you've been warned multiple times about leaning on the pylons go home I call into the department person in charge who happens to be management, uh, fourth and home, and tell her what happened and why. And she says, okay, I'll put it in my pass down. <coughs> so he goes, he clocks out, he gets in his car, he comes to the kiosk and he gets uh, the rest of his stuff because he's going home for the night. An hour and 15 minutes short So uh, as he's driving out of the key or driving out of the fuel center, he flips me off on his way out. So I call in and let my home PIC know. She says, "Okay, I'll put it in my pass down." Eh, about half an hour later, he comes through again, screaming profanities at me and flipping me off again. So I call into my uh, home manager again and let her know. And she says, really? I said, yeah, he must really not want his job. She says, it doesn't seem like it. <laughs> oh. Some people, fucking hell.
I'm hard to piss off. I give you one. I may give you a second one. You're not getting a third. He had three opportunities. <laughs> and this came directly from management, my manager, my direct manager, not my department manager, fuel center manager. If they don't listen, send them home. We don't want them working here. And that's what I believe too. If you're not going to listen and do your job, you don't deserve a job. That's enough. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'd much appreciate it. Ride safe, my brothers. Ciao.